Question three. Paula works a 40-hour week and earns $8.50 an hour with double time for any overtime she does. Last week, she worked 43 hours. She pays union dues of $5.90, a dental plan deduction of $2.50 every week, and her claim code is 2. The question asks, find her net pay. So important information we've got here, her regular work week is 40 hours, and she earns $8.50 an hour, double time for overtime. Last week, she worked 43 hours, union dues of $5.60, dental plan deduction of $2.50, claim code of 2. Now, deductions can get complicated. Some deductions happen before you calculate income tax. Some deductions happen afterwards. We're actually just going to simplify these questions, and we're just going to do all the deductions based on her original gross pay. We're not going to calculate a separate taxable income. So our first step is actually to figure out what that gross pay is. All right, so she does some regular time. So she works a 40-hour week, and she gets paid $8.50 an hour which brings in $340. Now she did go past her regular time, so she did put in some overtime. So I'm gonna figure out what her overtime rate is. That's $8.50 an hour, times her multiplier of two, because she makes double time, means that at overtime, she makes $17 an hour. Okay, now let's just figure out her overtime pay. She's got three hours of overtime, times that by $17 an hour, and she earns $51 in overtime. Add those two numbers together and figure out her gross pay. She makes $391. That's how much she made last week. Put a box around that because I'm coming back for that. In fact, I need it now to calculate all my deductions. So my next step, I'm actually going to list all my deductions here. So in this question, we have the four mandatory ones, CPP, EI, federal income tax, provincial income tax, but she also has a couple of other deductions, her union dues and her dental plan. Those last two are not mandated by the government, but they're perks that she gets and pays for in her job. Let's look up the numbers for the first four off of the chart, and then the last two come right out of our question. Add them all up to find her total deductions. And those deductions add up to $54.63. Let's end this off by figuring out her net pay. And that's going to be your gross pay subtracting her deductions. Paula's net pay is $336.37. That's what she gets to take home. Last question. Ed Eiter works for a community newspaper. He works the following hours. Monday, eight and a half hours, Tuesday, eight hours, Wednesday, 10 and three quarters hours, Thursday, seven and a quarter hours, and Friday, seven hours. His newspaper pays him time and a half for any hours over eight that he works in a given day. Regular hourly rate is $8.95. Calculate his net weekly pay if his claim code is three, and he contributes $3.75 for union dues and $2.45 for RPP, which stands for Registered Pension Plan. So we're looking for net weekly pay. Let's start by finding his gross pay. Well, we're going to have to figure out which days he earned overtime for and how many hours of overtime he got on those days. I'm going to make a chart. So Monday, first eight hours are regular time, and that last half hour, or 0 0.5 of an hour, is overtime. Tuesday, eight hours are regular. Wednesday, 10 and three quarters hours, or 10.75. First eight hours are regular. The last 2.75 is overtime. Thursday, seven and a quarter, we write a 7.25, and Friday is seven hours. Altogether, Ed works 38.25 hours of regular time, and 3.25 hours of overtime. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's figure out how much money he makes for that time. So starting with regular, 38.25 hours times 8.95 an hour. Multiply those together and it's $342.34. Now he's got some overtime in there, so let's start by finding the overtime rate. His regular rate is 8.95 an hour and he gets paid time and a half for overtime. His overtime rate ends up being 13.43 an hour. Okay, let's do his overtime. 3.25 hours of overtime times 13.43 hours times 13.43 dollars an hour. And in overtime, he earns $43.65. When you add them together, you get his gross pay, which is $385.99. Next step, let's figure out his deductions. 
These I'm going to pull off the deductions tables using that gross pay of $385.99 plus the union dues and the registered pension plan. Those two come out of the question itself. And here are the numbers I looked up off the tables. Total loads up, we have $44.86 in deductions. Let's end it off with the net pay. Just like always, we're going to take our gross pay and subtract off our deductions. Subtract those two numbers, and Ed gets to take home $341.13. And there is his net pay.